so this is a uh, research collaboration or alliance between AstraZeneca Pharmaceutical and the University of Virginia. Uh, we are going to the main uh, funding will actually go to funding projects for identification of new therapeutic targets for treatment of cardiovascular disease, mainly uh, myocardial uh, infarction, atherosclerosis, and peripheral vascular disease, uh, but also uh, work on aneurysms. Um, we're very excited about it in that there'll be a principal investigator at UVA and uh, also a principal investigator with appropriate expertise at AstraZeneca. Uh, thus, both entities can take full advantage of the resources and unique talents and skills and uh, other infrastructure that they have at their uh, disposal. Uh, for UVA, we're particularly attracted because AstraZeneca has much more experience in actually taking basic research findings and translating them to a useful therapeutic product. And so we hope to greatly uh, enhance our translational research capacities to benefit patients through this uh, alliance. As part of this program, uh, we're also going to exchange scientists uh, at all levels, so principal investigators as well as graduate students, uh, fellows, and postdocs. Um, AstraZeneca has already identified an individual, this will be a later announcement, who's going to spend at least 12 months on site at UVA helping to foster the collaborations in the initial group of projects that are funded. Um, in addition, UVA will be sending uh, individuals to AstraZeneca as needed or appropriate where it can uh, enhance the progress of the uh, research. And many of our graduate students and postdocs are particularly excited about doing that. Those will probably be, uh, rather than for a full year, will probably be on the order of two to three months uh, or shorter. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the largest scale um, collaboration that the University of Virginia has had with a, a large pharmaceutical company. Uh, we've been part of, you know, uh, testing of drugs for various pharma, but this sort of open-ended drug discovery, target discovery sort of project uh, we've never had. So this is really uh, very exciting. AstraZeneca did look at every institution. They were looking for one partner uh, in the cardiovascular area. What initially attracted them to us is uh, the breadth and depth of uh, high quality cardiovascular research programs we have here at UVA, uh, which are organized under the Robert M. Byrne Cardiovascular Research Center that I direct. Uh, so they, uh, that's what initially attracted them uh, here. Um, upon visiting us, they were particularly impressed, uh, they said their words, uh, with the leadership and the collegiality of investigators at UVA, that we really did collaborate, and they felt since we were good collaborators with one another, uh, that would be a good partner uh, with them. And they felt that we really st stood head and shoulders above our competition, which were among the uh, most reputable uh, institutions in the country. So my role will be to uh, ensure that the pro uh, projects that are chosen for funding uh, are showing good pro progress. Uh, one of the differences with this type of, of funding is that we focus on milestones and value building uh, on a much shorter time scale than uh, a standard NIH funded grant where we often think of uh, progress in terms of years um, uh, or multiple years. Uh, we're going to have quarterly meetings of all the PIs and associated investigators with these projects uh, where we'll review the progress and look at whether or not we're uh, value building in terms of the funds that are being expended. Uh, the, the grants that will be awarded will only be for one year at a time. So if a project is not progressing, uh, it won't be continued. Uh, and we, we look to fund uh, at least uh, nine to ten new research projects per year uh, with this program. The milestone value building sort of model is something that uh, our industry, large pharma, and biotech startups uh, emphasize. Um, and uh, so I think developing that culture to augment and layer on top of the uh, outstanding academic 
uh, research environment that we have will benefit everyone, including uh, patients getting uh, new therapeutic agents that can benefit them much quicker than might be uh, might occur without this sort of alliance. Uh, we're able to set these milestones, so a very important part of the review process was it wasn't that the PIs wrote a grant and then there was an evaluation uh, and then a, um, uh, a decision made without further PI input. So these, pro these PIs were given an opportunity to respond to the, an initial review of the grants, both in writing to a list of questions about the proposal, but also in a teleconference. So the projects are actually able to evolve to uh, more closely fit the mutual interest of both groups. And that's fundamentally different than the NIH review system where grants go off and about nine months later you find out whether or not you're going to be funded and if there was a slight misunderstanding, but a fundamental misunderstanding, you might have to go through another nine-month cycle to correct it. Here, we did that in a period of two weeks. Uh, so that's an example of how we're going to really, through close uh, communication and collaboration, accelerate the rate of progress. You know, we're very excited to work with AstraZeneca. I've uh, visited their uh, site where their cardiovascular division is in Gothenburg. Uh, the company has a great culture. Uh, I can see why collegiality was very important to them. Uh, among all, a lot of large pharma companies I've visited, I've actually been most impressed with them in terms of the skills that they have and their willingness to really open up and let us know what is going on in their company so we can better match that to UVA. So we're extraordinarily excited about this for both UVA, for the Cardiovascular Research Center, and uh, for AstraZeneca because I think it will prove to be a, a very productive uh, long-term partnership with UVA that I hope will extend far beyond the, uh, the three years of the initial agreement.